welcome back. Jiu-Jitsu 2000 here today. I'm coming at you with another unboxing video today. Let's take a look and see what we got. All right, let's take a look at this box. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, it's heavy. RCBS Rock Chucker Supreme. Very nice packaging. Show you the box, the outside. Sorry about that glare there, folks. Bottom has nothing. Looks like this door kind of opens up from the top. The first thing that I see appears to be the spent primer catcher. Plastic. About, oh, maybe a sixteenth of an inch thick. Looks like it's made pretty well. Set that there. And let's see, I have no idea how to get into this, so let's pull right up this way. Before I get into the press, let's look at this product instruction guide. Talks a little bit about safety. Talks a little bit about the press. Looks like there might be some disclaimers. Maybe some setup points on the press. And on the back side, looks like a parts schematic. Sorry about the light there, folks. Reference table. There's a shell holder chart. That's a kind of a cool. Thing for you guys. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Little owner's manual. Set that in the back. Let's set this in the back. Let's pull this out. Is there anything else in the box? Yes, there is. There's nothing else in there now. So just kind of move that out of the way. This is two small bags. Looks like we have a priming arm and a knurled screw I'm guessing that holds the priming arm on and this nut here I believe is probably to hold the handle onto the press in this package it looks like a small and large primer cup for the priming arm so that's kinda cool Let's take a look at the press here. It's heavy, it has a good weight to it. So, let's move that. Right here is the handle. It looks like the ball threads onto a pretty solid steel shaft. Pretty cool. This is the side that goes onto the press, onto the yoke. And this other side has this very hard plastic ball. And this uh, thing you can feel that it's coated with some sort of oil or something like that. So I'm just going to kind of take a rag here right now and just kind of clean this up a little bit. Clean these threads. Yeah. That's a pretty heavy duty handle. You know, the other press that I had been using for a long time is also RCBS and it's the partner. And um, you can tell that the handle compared to the partner is significantly thicker. See the difference in thicknesses of those of that steel? So yeah, you're dealing with a lot more I would, I would go out on a limb and say that this rock chucker would produce much more leverage simply because you have a beefier handle. Now I'm not knocking the, uh, the partner. That's a great press too. For those of you who don't know what the partner press looks like by RCBS, let me give you a quick glimpse of that. That's right there my friends. That is the RCBS partner. Sorry about that shaky camera work. And that's a good press. There's the priming arm right there. Ok, 
Okay, let's take a look and see what's next. Boy, take this bubble wrap off. Wow, the ram on this thing is very, very thick. Very heavy duty. This press is heavy to the the weight of it. It's very heavy, and I like that. It feels really solid in your hands. It feels like like you can really crank out some pretty good loads with this thing. One thing that I really like about this press is the way the linkage is. When when this, you know, um, let me get this board real quick just to show you what I'm trying to mention. If you mount this flush to your bench like this, and you operate the linkage, there's no linkage that's going to hit your bench because... I've had presses like my Dillon, for example, that this actually goes, so if you have a flush mounted type bench, such as what I have right here, this press, you don't have to worry about your linkage interfering with your bench. And that's, that's one of the things I really like about this press. I like these bars right here. These are really heavy duty. This, this press just has such a heavy duty feel to it. Nice steel insert here, which can be removed. Um, let me see if I can show you from this angle. If you look inside there, you might be able to get a glimpse of the inner threads. This is all steel. This press is really built well. The ram is heavy duty. Right here is where the priming arm, excuse me, the priming arm goes. Let's go ahead and put the handle on. All I need is that, that nut there. And while we're here, we'll go ahead and put the priming arm on. So what I like to do when I mount a handle to my press is I like to take a little 3-in-1 oil or some sort of oil and put it on there and that's simply so that these don't seize together I don't want these to seize together I'm gonna skip that step right now but when I mount this permanently that's something I'm definitely gonna do for sure just all the parts on this press feel very solid everything feels really solid and well built I could uh, imagine that this press will give me plenty of years of good solid service. So you got that. Bear with me. Let's just tighten this down a little bit. Nothing too crazy. So now we have our handle installed. The linkage of the press is very smooth. It's got a really smooth feel to it. I like the position of the handle and I like how what they've done here. They've angled this bottom yoke so that you could be left-handed user or a right-handed user. Very smooth operating press. It's heavy. This is the Rock Chucker Supreme. You know, I'm a I'm a big fan of RCBS products. You know, they've they've done a pretty good job as far as I'm concerned. Never really had any issues, and you know, in the past, if I did have any kind of minor little thing going on, um, RCBS to me anyway was was really top notch in in how they worked with me. So let's say this is a small cup, and this is a large cup, I'm guessing. And so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in here, like so. We're going to put this spring like this. And I believe that's what we need to do. So that's going to thread into... 
here. Bear with me, folks. This is very small stuff that I'm dealing with. But what that spring does is that keeps that cup in the upward position. But I need the spring out of the way to tighten this cup screw. And the spring also keeps tension so that this thing doesn't unthread. So this is the cup for large primers. Spring loaded. See, so you just set your primer in there. Now what, what happens is there's a groove you can see in the ram of the press there at the top. That's the groove in which the priming arm will fit into. But I need this knurled little piece here to put through just like so. I like how they knurled that. So everything can be done with your fingers. It flips out of position very nice. Very loose. I like that. And then there you go. You can you can do all your priming right there on the press. So that's about it, folks. Um, I want to say thank you for stopping by. Thanks for taking a look at my unboxing on the RCBS Rock Trucker Supreme. I hope you found some good useful information out of this video. Please feel free as always to like this video, thumbs up, share the video, subscribe to my channel, and have a beautiful day everybody. This is the small primer cup. <laughs> have a beautiful day. We'll talk to you later. One more thing I forgot to mention before I go. Let's take a look at this primer catch tray. I believe there's like these little grooves down here where my finger is. I believe that's where that thing clips in. Something, something to do with that right down there. It just kind of pops into place. So as the ram comes up, you can see hopefully, I'm trying to get it so you can see, there's this cutout right about here. See that cutout on the ram? The primers go through there. They fall into this primer catch tray. And I've read the reviews online and a lot of people say oh, it doesn't work very good. Some people say it works great. So I'll give this thing a try. And I'll let you know what my thoughts are. So we'll talk to you later, everybody. Have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.